So you're stuck in the mid game and want to know how to make boss mules? Welcome to the casual's guide to making boss mules up to CRA. Why make boss mules? Moving past the mid game requires 20 star items and they can be quite expensive. Boss mules are a consistent and easy source of gaining a lot of mesos without devoting too much time every week. Plus it helps out with legion. You will have to fund these characters but in the long run you'll make it back and get some more out of it. A fair warning is that there are better boss mule classes that will take less to fund compared to others, so I'd look at a chart or a video ranking them. Also, my legion and link skills will differ from yours, so the results may vary a little. So with that out of the way, let's get into the guide. To start off, I would get your character to level 210 to 220. This way you have a lot more skill points into the hyperstat page and also the power-ups from 5th job. Getting to that point any equipment can do, I usually just stick with pencil ear gear until I switch it out a bit later. For the face and eye accessories, you can get the condensed power crystal and the aquatic letter I from normal Zakum. To fill out the pocket slot and belt, Pink Bean will drop the Pink Holy Cup and the Golden Clover belt. There is a chance for the Black Bean mark to drop, so if it does for you, I would switch it out for the aquatic eye accessory because of the larger star force potential. Chaos Horntail is up next, dropping the Silver Blossom Ring, Chaos Horntail Necklace, and Decidus Earrings, filling up a ring, pendant, and earring slot. Bon Leon will be the main boss because we are going to need the entire Royal Bon Leon set. Only the hard mode will drop gear, but the normal mode can drop coins which you can exchange for the gear. The set is my go-to to making bossing meals. It's really easy to get, the flames are crazy on them and the set effect is great. The plus 30 attack and the 20% boss damage is the main selling point. It is a lower level than the pencil ear equips, but I prefer it because of the set effects and flames. When you get 10 accessories, you can trade it into Ifia to get the Noble Ifia's ring, filling up another ring slot. You do have to finish the Von Leon questline on the character to obtain it. The normal Ifia's ring can also still be equipped, so you can use it as a filler. For the last ring slot, you can get the Treasure Hunter's John ring from the NLC coin shop. All you need to do is follow the public safety questline until you get the one coin as your reward. Normal Arcarium drops the Mechanator and Dominator Pendant. The Mechanator Pendant drops every fight, so I'd use it in your secondary pendant slot. If you manage to get the Dominator Pendant, I would swap it with the Chaos Horntail Pendant. Lastly, before any of the harder bosses, defeating Normal Magnus will drop the Crystal Ventus Badge and the Royal Black Metal Shoulder. Easy Magnus can do the same, but I think the drop rate is lower. With that, all your slots should be filled and you should also get the boss accessory set effect for the boss drops. Plus 45 all stat, plus 30 attack, and 10% for both boss damage and ignore enemy defense. When you're happy with your equips, epic all of them and get at least 6% main stat on every item. You can do this from buying epic potential scrolls from Legion, only 2 every week, or rank them up with mystical cubes. It may take a while with the cubes though. Also, star first them all to 10 to 12 stars. For your emblem, weapon, and secondary, I would recommend that they're at least unique to get the higher percentages. Try to get 2 lines of attack on any item, and mix and match boss damage and IED depending on what you need. For CRA, having around 85% IED or higher is optimal for doing damage. At the end of the day, you have to tweak and figure out what amount of each is best for your character. If you get any of the Princess No accessories, you should equip it. Not necessary right now, but nice to have. With all your equips, you should be able to take on all the bosses up to the 3 doors of CRA. I've noticed that if you have around 8500 main stat, the 3 doors should be doable without too much trouble. Once you get enough fragments, I would make the CRA hat top and bottom. A fun fact is that you can use the transfer hammer to transfer your Von Leon hat to a Pencilier hat, then to the CRA one, so you can keep the epic potential and a couple of stars. I would also recommend keeping the CRA 3 set to unique with 2 lines of main stat. Just due to the fact that you will not be replacing these and you're gonna need the stats for Vellum. With that, you should be able to take down Hard Magnus. It got a lot easier because of the removal of buff freezers, so no need to rebuff. Magnus can drop a Tyrant Cape and has amazing stats, so you should replace the Von Leon one. Magnus will also drop 9 Magnus coins. After a couple of weeklies, you can exchange them for any Tyrant equip. All that's left is Vellum. You will probably struggle versing Vellum for the first time, but if you manage to beat him, congrats! If you don't, you just need to learn the mechanics more and alter your equipment little by little until you're able to win. I've noticed that 10k main stat usually does the trick. Remember, don't forget about the IED. 85% and above should be pretty good. Once you beat Vellum and are able to get 15 pieces of destruction, make your Fafnir weapon and it should be way easier every week. And that's the guide. Hopefully it helped you out and gave you a general direction on the equipment path. Vellum is really hard, don't get too discouraged. It'll take time, but you'll eventually beat it. Once you get those 15 pieces, it is smooth sailing. Good luck out there and have fun. 
See you in the next one.